Many Christians are filled with regrets about their past actions and wrongdoings. How have you dealt with your past? Well, yes, we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. We see that in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. But to keep looking backward at our remembered failures and to consider ourselves as failures based on our behavior in the past is simply evidence that a person has placed too much faith in themselves and in their performance. God didn't expect anything more of you. <laughs> he knew full well that you were a sinner, Romans 5.19, due to the fall of Adam and Eve, that you would of necessity engage in the sinful behavior and the character of the evil one that you would express through your behavior. We read that in Ephesians 2.2. 2. Well, thanks for tuning in today to another broadcast of Life as God Intended. And as I've stated in this broadcast, we're going to be dealing with the subject of dealing with the past. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. That way you get notifications when we upload new videos. We always appreciate your comments in the section below, hearing from you and interacting. So, why then do so many of us keep digging around in the garbage bucket of yesterday's trash? You see, when we continue to wallow in the muck of the past, we become slaves to yesterday and its mistakes. We certainly had plenty of mistakes. And as a result, we become hostage to the remembrances and the regrets that we too frequently remember. And as a result, we are unable to enjoy the freedom that Christ has bought us on the cross. You see, our identity is not formed by our performances, either past performance or failure or present performance or failure. It's not what we do or what we haven't done that determines who we are. Christians must begin to realize that the only performance that matters is what Jesus has accomplished on our behalf. And we need to begin to view ourselves as the new creatures that we have become in Christ Jesus. That's what Paul was referring to in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. The God of love, which John talks about in 1 John chapter 3, verses 18 and 16. The God of no love knows every transgression that you and I have made. In fact, he knew it long before we made it. And you can see that reference in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 13. And even though he knows that, he loves us anyway. Romans 8, 38 and 39. And notice that it's out of such love, his love for us, that God forgives. And he remembers our sins no more. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 12. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 17. So for us to continue to keep digging in that garbage pail from the past is essentially an affront to God as we keep remembering what he no longer remembers 
against us and frankly has put it all aside. Paul was not proud of his past. We see him write about his past in Philippians chapter 3 and verses 7 and 8. But then he went on to continue in that same passage in verse 13 and 14 by saying, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead, he said, I press on toward the goal of the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. So in other words, he knew who he was. He was, he was aware of and experiencing the presence of Christ, and he wasn't distracted by all the things from his past to keep him from the present reality of experiencing Christ as his life. And so you can't live life moving forward if you're always looking backward, accusing yourself in self-condemnation. By the way, Scripture is clear that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. That would not be the Lord Jesus Christ. So may I encourage you today to begin to view yourself as God views you. He wants you to experience life as God intended. Once again, thanks for giving me your comments below and subscribing to the channel.